Well, good evening everyone. It's day 49 of my carnivore diet, so getting close to 50 days and getting close to the end of month two already. So we're past one and a half months, I guess, which is pretty cool. Um, numbers for last night, let's see, or for yesterday and today, um, pretty normal, pretty standard. I've been stuck at 95, basically 95 kilos for over a week now. Um, so I've reached one of the sort of plateaus that I know people have talked about. So I'm not really worrying about it too much, but anyway, I'm there. Um, had nearly nine hours of sleep last night, but it was very broken. And I woke up quite early this morning because my son's alarm went off at half six on Sunday morning. So I was not best pleased about that, but never mind. Um, the big thing, though, I did today was I did actually get out for a, a walk slash run on the road course that I, I run across from the farm that we live on. And what's really nice about it is there's a 5K loop, there's a 7K loop and a 10K loop that I can do. And it's quite hilly. So I've been a little hesitant to do it because of my knee problem. And it usually manifests itself. Well, it, it was caused by running downhill. And then it normally manifests itself when I'm walking downhill. And because it's almost entirely hills, this course, I was really concerned. But I just thought I needed to get out of the house. And the half marathon was on in town. So it was going to be really difficult to get to the gym because the roads were blocked. And I just thought, well, instead of going into the gym and getting on a treadmill, why don't I just go for an actual walk? The good news is that my knee didn't hurt at all the whole time. And I ran part of it and I walked part of it. I walked most of the downhills because I was, again, really concerned about my knee and putting any undue stress on it. But I ran a lot of the uphills and a lot of, if there was just a gradual slope, then I ran some of those sections as well. Um, I didn't push myself too hard. I didn't try and run too fast. What I am trying to do, though, is change my form. So sorry for people that um, focus on the diet, but this one's a little bit more about running and exercise, maybe. But yeah, so I'm trying to change my form because I think what was happening, well, part of what was happening is I was running too up and down and I was striking with really strongly on my heel. And I think that was causing shock sort of the shock to go up into my knees and everything else and has caused the knee problem because what i've noticed is is that if i if i was on the treadmill and i set the treadmill on more of an incline so that i was striking on the front of my foot instead of on my heel that i don't really get the knee pain so i wanted to test that out on the road and you know i've you know in the last few updates over the last couple of weeks, I've mentioned that, you know, that I had tried running a little bit, a couple of minutes here and there just on the treadmill to see how it went. But I wanted to try it for real on the road. And it was fine. <laughs> Everything else hurts, but my knee, fine. So really, really pleased with that. Just spent most of the time working on my form um, and and sort of instead of running like that, running like that so that I'm kind of falling, almost falling forward a little bit over it, which means that my feet strike underneath and I run more in the middle to the front of my foot all the time. It's not how I normally run, so I'm having to kind of retrain myself. So I was really happy about that. So I did 7K, it took me an hour, which is super slow pace, but for walking and running a little bit, Again, I wasn't trying to do it for time. I just wanted to do it to see what happened. So that was a total win. I don't know. I don't know if that's direct result from the diet. I don't know if that's a result of having lost some weight and maybe not being so heavy on my knee. I don't know if it's because it's just had time to heal. I, I don't know. I, I can't directly link it to the diet. Um because it could be any number of things. What I can say about the effect that the diets had is that, you know, on my joints and the arthritis that I was experiencing and the, the kind of tendonitis -y type feeling that I was feeling, that's all gone away. So 
as long as I stay away from aspartame, I think I'll be fine. Cause you know, the last time I had it, um, for people who haven't seen it, maybe, maybe haven't watched some of the older videos. I, I went out to lunch with my wife one day and drank a Coke zero and then the swelling came back in my joints and I started getting the joint pain and everything again. And the only thing that I ate that day really that I think I could attribute that to is the aspartame in the sweetener in the Coke. So no more Cokes. And yeah, so I've kind of got back to, you know, that pain's gone away. And yeah, so I was quite happy about that. So, you know, did met my step count for the day, um, had a really good diet today as well. Very strict. I, again, I had a few peanuts, but not many, no peanut butter. And I drank, I've drank literally water all day until tonight. I've got a peppermint tea. So yeah, a little bit more strict on the diet. So I'm hoping that if I can do a bit more exercise again, that that might sort of break the back of, of, of the weight, but we'll see. Um, so that's that. <clears throat> um, tomorrow I'm going to be out all day. So it's my birthday this week and we've taken the day off. And again, my son's out of school and my wife's off work. So we're all going to go into London and, um, we're going to go around and just sort of have a family day out. And so there'll be lots of walking around and stuff like that. It's going to be interesting to try and find stuff for the diet. I suspect that we'll be able to find, I, I can think of a few places in London where I can easily go to eat. We're going to go to Battersea Power Station, which is a new, anyway, it's this old power station for anybody in the UK. You know what it is. Anybody outside the UK, um, probably the only way you would know it is it's on the one of the album covers of, of a Pink Floyd album, um, Animals. But anyway, it's this old power station that they've, sort of redone and turned it into a shopping center and, and offices and all sorts of stuff inside. So anyway, maybe tomorrow night when I get home, I'll cut in a little bit of, I'll try and take a video while I'm there and, and say hello to everybody or whatever and cut in some B-roll for you. But, um, yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. So I'll be up and out and, and about. So that'll be again, interesting to see, you know, how, how strict I can stay on the diet being out. But other than that, no, quite happy. I feel really good that I went out and got some exercise today. Super, super pleased about my knee. Not so pleased about the rest, like my ankles hurt and some of my shins hurt, but that's fine because that's normal for when I start running on the road again. And that will go away. That's normal soreness. I'm not worried about that. And yeah, I think that's everything for today. So I'm going to wind it up for tonight. Um, thanks. If you got this far, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notifications bell if you want to, but I update this every day. So just drop in whenever you want and, uh, and have a watch and see what I've been up to. Anyway, if you're on a diet, stay strong. Let me know how you're getting on and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.